Can I get your attention, please? And if you could come down to this end of the room, sort of a semicircle. Okay, first I want to explain, we're actually going to dedicate the sign to Floral Lee, but I need to explain something. The permanent sign is white neon in script. And the first one made, I didn't like. Uh, I wasn't being picky. That was unusual. That's one. unusual. And I've seen the new one, and don't pay any attention to him. It's, he walked in off the street. I don't know where he is. So the new one is ready. I saw it at the shop, and it's perfect. Except the man who did the nail, he's 85 years old, and a week and a half ago, he broke his femur. So he's in the hospital, and he had a pin and a rod put in. So it's going to be a while till the permanent sign is up. But we did a mock-up for tonight. So the family is all going to pull on the cord, and officially, we're going to have the Florida Heart Co. set up. All right. Now we're going to proceed to the lower level where the theater is, but on the way down there's a rear entrance to the theater and we're going to go outside because there's a marvelous sign about the theater and Floor Lee's name and city ordinance that cannot be in front. So I want you to see this before we go to the theater. So if you follow me and we'll see the sign.
Sally Maybrook, and I was Flora Lee's roommate at Ohio State University, and we had a wonderful time together. She was, a, I had a two-inch waist, and I had a 28-inch waist. The boys <laughs> met her, and they met, they invited her to every day, morning, noon, and night. She she from, from Chicago. From Chicago. Please pardon me for not getting up. It might be a scene if I got up. <laughs> My name is Harry Wallace, and I first ran across Forley in junior high school, Thomas Jefferson Junior High School. And if you needed anything done, that gal could get it done. She knew how to do it. She had so many talents. And then we dated some in high school, and Why? She, <laughs> <laughs> she's a chip off the old block. Her mother, Esther, was just like it. She could get things done. I love them both. I'm Buffy Wallace, and I'm here with Harry because Harry loved Laura Lee. Uh, I'm Steve Cassis. I grew up on Venable like Laura Lee, and then my wife and I moved to Sherwood Forest. But I got to know her as a patient and how tough she was through her uh, illness there. I'm Lisa Cassis, and he took care of her for me. But neighbors with the Don and Flora Lee's many, many years ago, and they became throughout the years, and just beautiful people. I'm Leanne Kaufman, and I went to high school and uh, knew Flora Lee all through the time, and then through the neighborhood, too, when they moved to Sherwood Forest. <laughs> I'm Sam Kaufman. I'm married to Leanne Kaufman, and the Coens were our neighbors. We went to high school with Fuller Lee. I'm Erwin Cohen, Don's much older brother. He's <laughs> <laughs> like your brother, and he's better known in the trade as C.D. Cohen. <laughs> I'm Neil Erickson, and I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. I went to the optometry school with Donnie and met Fuller Lee and Don when I went to school with him, and they used to have me over for dinner. And Don ate a lot of a lot of hamburger, sirloin steak hamburger at that time, and I used to join him in that. <laughs> I'm Bob Thompson. I live here in Charleston, and uh, I first met Flora Lee when I was a freshman at uh, West Virginia State College. Uh, Don and Flora Lee gave me my first professional job playing music in Charleston, and. Uh, so uh, I have to thank him for that, and, and we love Flora Lee, especially uh, her homemade cheesecake. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry Mason. I'm here with my husband, Andy, who is a good friend of Don's. My name's Andy Mason, and uh, Don and Flora Lee gave me the honor of letting me be their friend. Oh. Uh, my name is Charlie Ball, and I live here in Charleston, and Flora Lee and I worked together for any number of years uh, at Whole uh, Furniture. Flora Lee was an extremely talented person, and in our business, she was the best uh, window designer and interior designer that we ever had. I'm Ken Pauley, I'm from Charleston, and I'm here with my husband, Charlie Bowler. I got to know Flora Lee through uh, the, her work at the furniture store also. Donnie, I didn't get to speak because I was doing well, something else. <laughs> my name is Betty Stern. Uh, I can remember this was one of the few people, Flora Lee was one of the few people that I could call at one in the morning or two in the morning, and I knew I would be able to get her. And I also remember all those nights when we would go over, the popcorn pot would come out, and we would have a great time at two or three in the morning. And we're now a close-knit group, not just a bunch of faces. This, by the way, is being videoed live, and it's going out on YouTube. So right now, you're being seen around the country. And 
Because of circumstances beyond their control, two of our daughters could not make it. Leslie and Zoe, they both were in Florida. So since this is being videoed, I want you to do something with me. I'm going to count one, two, three, and after three, I want you to say, Hi, Leslie. Hi, Zoe. One, two, three. Hi, Hi Leslie. Hi, Zoe. Thank you. Now, if you would, I'd like if you would stand for one minute of just silence. Marlon Brando, 
in some of the films that he did. Joe Lee loved that era of movies. Marlon Brando, James Dean. So I took the liberty of picking one of her favorites. In 19, the movie was made in 1954. In 1955, it received the Oscar Award for Best Movie, and he got the award for Best Actor. So we're now going to see Marlon Brando in action.